Hi, welcome back to What's Your Story? And we do hope you're getting involved with the great stories we're bringing you tonight. And with me is Tom White, who grew up right here in Boston and has some stories about Dorchester. Tom, welcome. Thanks for having me here tonight. Well, Marsha, I grew up right in the middle of the greatest playground ever. At, at one end of my street, there was a junkyard with a junkyard dog. At the other end was the Dorchester dump. And behind my house was the railroad tracks and the freight train came rumbling through twice a day. And when this thundering behemoth came through, all conversation would cease in the house. Um, the neighborhood kids would put um, ten penny nails on the tracks and the train would squish them into miniature swords. Now, just beyond the railroad tracks was the Keystone Camera Factory where my mom worked and where my brother sold newspapers. Um, it's hard to believe now that Dorchester could have been a center of high-tech manufacturing, but Keystone Camera was the Sony of its day, building film projectors, tape recorders, and of course, cameras. Uh, things, were, things were going, oh, and during the summer, um, the, cicada, the noise of the cicadas would mix with the manufacturing, and uh, it would go like this. Marsha, I want you to uh, make, make a noise like a cicada. Zzz, okay? Zzz. And, I, and I'm the, I'm the, uh, the pressing plants. Good junk, good junk, good junk, good junk. Now keep it up, because at the end of the 60s, the factory was sold, and the, fa and the place went silent. Well, so let's move on to the Dorchester dump. It was the mission of teenage boys in the 70s to build forts where we could smoke pot and talk about the Three Stooges. And the Dorchester dump was perfect for this. Plenty of land and building materials and fertile soil to grow weed. Now, if you go down there today, everything has changed. The railroad bed was pulled up and in its place is a bike path. The junkyard is gone, now replaced with a boat launch. And the good old Dorchester dump, well, I'm sorry, but it's been paved over and it's now a soccer field. But Tom, you know, these things are all more beautiful, right? I mean, the park is beautiful. The bike lane is very valuable to people. The boat yard, I mean, isn't that better than what was there before? Well, sure, things look nice and, you know, and there's even real playgrounds for the kids. But where do you go to break bottles? Where are you going to throw a brick through a TV? Where do you go to have fun? Why is it good for a kid to break a bottle and throw a brick through a TV? Well, let me tell you something. Um, you... There's a certain amount of physics involved with throwing a bottle up in the air. You know, we learned that it bounces first before it breaks. Now, we, how would you ever know that if you didn't do it yourself? The physics of Dorchester. That's right. 